Views were expressed on the Newsline program this morning on statements made by Minister of Higher Education and Highways Lakshman Kiriala on the proposal to grant the tender for the construction of the third phase of the Central Express Expressway to a Japanese company. There's been a definite uh, departure from process uh, and it's not between one company or another. Yeah. Although that is also part, a central component of the story. Yeah. Uh, the real story here is an abuse of power. They've departed from national procurement guidelines. Uh, but there are significant lies that have been told there. Uh, the minister lies when he says that this money is being given by the Japanese government. It's not being given by the Japanese government. It is being given by a Japanese bank. And there's insurance, a supply credit insurance at a very high premium, 10.07% in advance. The Prime Minister signs that off actually, no, not, not Mr. Kiriala. But Mr. Kiriala is absolutely misleading the public, whether it is by design or by omission, I don't know. But what he says is absolute lies. This is a matter we have to be a bit too hard because the way that this minister is replying the media to elicit doubts that have been created about this transaction at the instigation of the president of the country you know is in no way can be condoned because the way he behaved is i should say the least is disgraceful it looks as appears as if you know he's like a child punished by a school principal undergoing the punishment, trying to do that unwillingly. This is not something that the president wanted the minister to come and do unwillingly and run away from the journalist. Mm -hmm. What did the minister do instead? He is bringing Mahindra Rajapaksa. Who is worried about what Mahindra exactly. Rajapaksa? Why, why, I mean, the minute they bring Mahindra Rajapaksa into it, no. you know that they are covering something no. up.